In 1915, a group of Italian immigrants who originally settled in Chicago at the turn of the 20th century established their vineyards here at the foothills of the Washita Mountains, the land being reminiscent of their native mountainous terrain of northern Italy. They named the town Alta Villa and later changed it to Little Italy, Amore. In 1915, early on, they came in, in the, on the train at Ledwich and walked up the hill and, uh, and saw this beautiful forest and said uh, Alta Villa. Which means high place. Joseph Wagner is one of the few Little Italy residents who's still trying to keep a vineyard alive and productive. He married the granddaughter of Little Italy founders, Joseph and Maria Bellotti. Their first task was, of course, to take down all these trees. The, the, uh, according to John Del Santo, told me that from here you could see all the way to Y because there were no trees, and that's how they kept uh, the animals down by not giving them a place to roost. Mm -hmm. But then the trees later caused the problems with the grapes about the disease. I guess they started growing back. I don't know exactly what happened, but the black rot disease is what's blamed for the, for the uh, failure of their grape crops. Mm -hmm. And of course they were using conquered grape too, which may be more susceptible than uh, like this. This is a, a Cynthiana grape, which is less susceptible. So what are the trials and tribulations now of trying to maintain uh, the vineyards here? Well, you have many uh, problems that, that uh, you're faced with. First, you have the animals, the deer, the raccoons, mm -hmm. the birds, and then you have the wintertime weather, which you come in if you get a freeze after the grape, have, it'll kill the vine or you know, it'll rupture it because it's, it freezes it like a pipe, you know. And then there's uh, the problems of uh, insects even. Uh, then you have the problem of the black rot and other diseases that can creep up. And of course, uh, building the net that I built down there uh, has helped a lot to keep the animals out. So you're only gonna be able, you said, to make about a gallon of wine this, uh, this season. Yes, because it's, it's an experiment. I'm not ready to invest, I have not been ready to invest a lot of money. That cost a lot of money for that big net. And so I wanted to be sure it was it would work. Mm -hmm. So now that I believe that it's work, I'm kind of excited about spending some more money to put more nets in. Some of the wood posts Wagner uses are the original ones used by the settlers. He's also held on to some of the old tools. So explain this tool here for yeah, us. Yeah, this is a, an old original post auger. Uh, that the Italians used uh, before they had ways to attach the wiring to the to their uh, posts. Mm -hmm. The posts are made out of uh, pine center, the center of a pine, and uh, so that's why they've lasted a hundred years. And this auger was used to drill the hole into the post, as I can show mm -hmm. you right here. It fits right into this one-inch hole, which is here. It was drilled probably by this exact mm. auger. And when it got through, they all had a glass of wine and said that was hard work. <laughs> Wagner still uses an original grape crusher. So Joseph, tell us about this museum piece here. Okay, this is uh, an original uh, grinding uh, uh, machine for the grapes. They would put the grape into this funnel on top and uh, of course we had a ways to push the grapes down into the teeth of this grinder. And then this grinder, someone would have to be rotating this constantly as the grapes were being fed in. And down in the wine cellar is an original wine press. What we do is take the grape out of this pipe that came from the crusher and they go into this tub. And then we put the lid on the top of the on top of the grape and then we take this screw and screw it down tight on top of that and use a, a lot of leverage put tons of pressure on the grape and squeeze the juice out and it falls into a bucket right there 
If you happen to visit Little Italy, by all means, spend a little time in the Little Italy Heritage Museum to get a better understanding of these immigrants' answered prayers in Arkansas, in the land of opportunity.